Um, we're going to talk about the six vows and the six vows. All right, Revelation uh, 16, verse 12. And, he, and the sixth angel poured out his vow upon the great river Euphrates. And the water thereof was dried up, that the way of the kings of the east might be prepared. See, that's going to be for the battle of Armageddon. And I saw three unclean spirits, like frogs, came out of the mouth of the dragon, and out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophet. See? For they are the spirit of devils, working miracles, which go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to the battle of that great day of God Almighty as the battle of Armageddon. That's the last battle. See, and these people believe that that battle there like in the sixth trumpet and the sixth uh, vowel and all that. It's not the battle of Armageddon. It is the battle of Armageddon. It's all the same. You're talking about Ezekiel 38 and 39 and Revelation 16 and Revelation chapter 9 and the sixth trumpet. It's all the same. That's what a lot of people can't see. You know, they have a lot of all type of false doctrine. And verse... Uh, 15 said, Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments. Lest he walk naked and they see his shame. And he gathered them together into a place called in the Hebrew tongue Armageddon. You see? That's the battle of Armageddon. Uh, in the sixth trumpet, go to the sixth trumpet. You're talking about the great river Euphrates. See, the same thing. You're just explaining it in more detail. That's all. All right, the sixth uh, trumpet. Uh, let me see. Revelation 9, uh, verse. Uh, let's start in verse 12. It says, one woo is past, and behold, there come two woos more hereafter. See, there'll be two woos more hereafter. Woo mean like a deep, this deep distress, and like a deep distress and you know, deep suffering. You know, it'll be distress in the land, it'll be deep suffering. It's like God was doing with uh, with Pharaoh, you know, putting plagues on it, caused them to be have suffering in the land. And that's what God is doing, you know, starting now with the coronavirus. There's a lot of people can't see that, you know, just like he did Pharaoh. He started to punish the people, just keep punishing, putting different things on them until you, the final battle is destroyed. Them destroy a lot of people just like he did Pharaoh. Got rid of them, drowned them in the Red Sea. Otherwise before that he was punishing him, you know, putting plagues on him, pestilence. In fact it is not. God, God wanted them to, re to repent. It's like Pharaoh didn't want to repent. He God hardened his heart so he didn't repent. Alright. Verse uh, 13, it said, and the sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which is before God, saying to the sixth angel, which had the trumpet, loose the four angels which are bound in the great river Euphrates. See, those four angels were bound in the great river Euphrates. And the four angels were loose, which were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year 
for to slay the third part of men. And the number of the army of the horsemen were two hundred thousand thousand, and I heard the number of them. It says uh, two hundred thousand thousand. That will be like a two hundred million man army. Seeing the people be saying that a lot of these prophets be saying that they destroyed a two hundred million man army, killed two hundred million million man army. That is not true. You know. That's what I've been hearing a lot of these teachers, these prophets be saying. It's a third of them. You gotta think a little bit, read with carefully what the Bible says. Alright. Say. And he said, I heard the number of them. And verse 17 said, Thus I saw in the I saw the horses and the vision and them that sit on them, having breastplate of fire and of Jason and brimstone. And the heads of the horses were as the heads of lion. I mean that they were strong. See. And out of that mount issue fire and smoke and brimstone you see out of their mouth issue fire and smoke and brimstone to kill the third part of man not the 200 million, million man army a third part of that see a third part of that is leave like a to kill like a 66 million and six hundred uh, six hundred and sixty six thousand and six hundred and sixty six see it's sixty six million six hundred six hundred and sixty six thousand and six hundred and sixty six that's how much was killed and not the whole 200 million man army was killed. Because in verse, uh, and, and like I said, I'm going to read verse 17 again. It said, thus I, thus I saw the horses in the vision, and them that sat on them, having breastplate of fire, and of jason, and brimstone, and uh, hay of the horses were as the heads of lying, I mean that they were strong, and out of their mouth issued fire and smoke and brimstone. See, it was fire and smoke and brimstone out of their mouth issued as the missiles coming from the plane. By these plagues, I mean by these three, was the third part of man killed. See. It said by these three was the third part of man killed by the fire and by the smoke and by the brimstone which issued out of their mouth. You see? It's the third part. They were killed by the fire and by the smoke and by the brimstone. You see? The third part of was killed of the 200 million man army. It was the third part, so it's be like 66 million and 666,000 and 666. See, that's what it come up to. Now I'll tell you how people teach false doctrine right before your eyes. You know, they be talking about your kill a 600 million, I uh, mean 200 million man army. You know, it's not true. The Bible says a third part were killed by the fire, by the smoke, and by the brimstone. You have to think and read God's word carefully. See, it's what was not the whole 200 million man army was killed. It was the army. Because a lot of people do not understand that. You know? That's why when you read, the Bible says, 
he didn't really let them understand. But that's what, you know, people, like I said, people are deceived, you know, just like all they see now about the George uh, Floyd, about the people marching down the street and all that stuff now. You know, Black Lives Matter, they all they see. Black lives don't matter to black people. See, only when a white man kill a black man, then the black life matter. Otherwise, black life doesn't matter. They kill each other every day. But they be lying about that. Since the Democrat push all that stuff, they use the news media, you know, the press, you know, like Hitler days, to bring about his agenda. And they deceive the people. See these black people right in the front of their face. And these black men and women that just want money for you know, to get money from the city. You know, file a lawsuit is to get money. That's all. Get the white man money. And white people do not understand that. You know, they try to tickle for the son or daughter that's doing evil, that's doing wrong. You're not supposed to tickle for nobody that's doing wrong. You're supposed to be obedient to the police officer. You know, you don't do that. You know, old folks used to say that with my son or daughter doing wrong, he said a long time ago, he said, I ain't gonna take her for their son or daughter. But these black people now, they will take her for their son or daughter doing wrong. Then the son or daughter don't wanna listen to the police officer and the police officer wind up killing them or whatever. And they gonna be taken up from. And the news media use that. See? And brainwashing. You're supposed to be obedient to law enforcement. That's what the law enforcement is here for. God put that, that law enforcement that government here. To keep people in order. If you don't have law and order, you won't have no, no, no city and no government. You know, no, no, no state. You won't have nothing, no country. You know, you have to have everything going to chaos. It's just a common sense. Nobody can do what they want to do. It's like, like, like I said, like working on a job, anything. If you don't want to listen, then people fire you everywhere. If you don't want to listen to the jury, they throw you in jail. You know, they got to always have somebody authority over you. And always going to be some people don't want to listen. That's why we have law enforcement. That's why they have to carry guns and stuff. Because some people be stronger than the, uh, than the man that carrying the gun. Want to take his gun and use it on him. You know, man, that all law enforcement is doing his job. That's all. You just don't be want to listen. That's why you have to use deadly force. You know, if you would listen, none of that would happen. You wouldn't have to use deadly force. That's all the problem is. But they don't want to hear that. They want to take up for their son and daughter doing evil. Don't want to listen. A lot of them, most of these black people are on drugs. Their mind are messed up. Something wrong with their mind because they're on drugs. They're on drugs all their life. You know? That's the problem. They don't want to admit that, but those news media, the press, they use that for their advantage just to get in the office, stay in the office like the Democrat. And brainwash these black people. You know, black people is a love of money. They don't want to listen just to get lawsuit from the city. That's all it's about. You want to stay in the office. You use that lie to the people. And the people be believing that lie. You want to show sometimes that what a man did shoot the man. They don't want to show the whole story of what, what happened. The man didn't want to listen. That's the reason why all that happened. And black people are too ignorant to see that. Because their mind are gone. Their mind messed up. <laughs> Can't you see that? They can't think for themselves. Something wrong with their mind. They don't know right from wrong. That's why the Bible said they could call evil good and good evil. You know, you got to stand up for the truth, for righteousness, whether it's your son or daughter or whatever. You don't take up for your son or daughter if they, if they are wrong. You don't know wrong from right. What I wanted to, you know, bring to y'all today. Let these people fool you and deceive you. That's why the Bible says that the system, that beast system, is going to deceive the whole world. 
You know, that's what they are doing now. Deceiving you. Destroying their own self. You know, like I said, probably gonna have two presidents over here in uh, the next election. Where they gonna say maybe Donald Trump won. Then they gonna say, oh, Hillary Clinton. That's the reason why they want to uh, balance by mail. So you can say, oh, she got uh, more balance in the mail box. You know. Or Joe, Joe Biden, I mean, got more balance in the mailbox than Donald Trump and all kind of stuff. See, that's what they'll do. See. Because they want to steal the election. That's just how it works. Want to cause violence. You got to have two prep. you like Venezuela. It could be divided. That's why the Lord said it will be a nation against nation and kingdom against kingdom. It's like... Uh, you have like two kings in this country, like two kingdoms, like Democrat cities going to be, want to rule, want to take over themselves, you know. Then the Republican, you know, place where they won, they don't want to rule, you know, and stuff like that. Say Donald Trump won, you know, and I'm going to say, oh, Joe Biden won, you know, and stuff like that. But this is how it is, you know, people mind are messed up. They can't think, like I said, no more. They don't know right from wrong. They don't want to stand for righteousness no more. But, probably going to be, like I said, probably going to be two presidents, like in Venezuela. You know, country divided. Can't you see that? Divided you fall, together we stand. See, black people mind them got messed up. And nothing you can do about it, you know. The Bible got to be fulfilled. You, know? you can't think for them, for themselves no more. And the Democrat hardly know that. Because they're not brainwashed. Since from way back. You know, started in the late 50s and 60s. Are they brainwashed and giving them free food stamp, free stuff. You know, free program and all that stuff. And they brainwashing for their vote. You know, they don't stand for righteousness. All the time they was promoting abortion, same-sex marriage, you know, homosexuality, you know, all that stuff. Abortion, adultery, fornication, you know, took the man out of the house. And they started committing adultery, fornication, everything. Then getting married no more and destroyed them. And they can't see. You know, all these church people, all these preachers, all they see. They think they're not deceived, but they are deceived. And they can't see. They vote for the people that believe all that. Abortion. They vote for the people that are saying that abortion is okay. They vote for the people that are saying homosexual is okay. They vote for the people that are saying transgender is okay. They vote for the people that are saying fornication is okay. You know, adultery is okay. All these stuff. See, these black preachers. They voted for. <laughs> See, and they did see. See, you, know, you go back into God's word. God is not for homosexuality. He destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. You know, everybody know abortion is wrong. But they vote for these people that believe that the Democrat Party believe all that. That's so all I'm just naming you just a few things. And they can't see. See. Because they're a little bit of free stuff in the Democrat Party and got them away from God. That started way back then, like I said, in the late 50s and 60s. Our country started going down. Started accepting all this stuff. We used to accept it. We used to make the boys and girls get married. Girl, boy would get a girl pregnant, we'll make them get married. And no, no longer that no more. So, we don't got to see. And it's okay. See, don't have to get married no more. And the Bible tells you that if Paul would get a girl pregnant, now go with a girl, he's supposed to marry her, he's supposed to be his wife, and that's it. Well, we used to follow that. You see, he was close to God way back then. Man got away from God's word. But that's what I wanted to bring. But the 600, 200 million man army is going to be uh, 66 million. And six hundred and sixty-six thousand and six 
166. See, it's not gonna be in a whole 200 million man army. Gonna be killed. See, it's a third of that. So it's what it leads to 66 million and 666,666. But that's what I wanted to bring to y'all. I thank y'all and may God bless y'all and give y'all wisdom. Don't let people deceive you. Read God's word. And, you know, follow what God's word say. You know, that's the only way you're going to be saved. But don't let those people deceive you. Think for yourself. You know, like I said, great tribulation, you know, is coming up. And a lot of people don't know that, you know, the great tribulation will be the wrath of God. God could be punishing people, and it could be the wrath of Satan. You know, they, a lot of these preachers got the wrong understanding. They lie to you. It's about the great tribulation, just the wrath of Satan. You know, the great tribulation is the wrath of God and the wrath of Satan. See, God could be pouring out his wrath upon the wicked people, They're destroying Satan. Could be pouring out his wrath upon the, the righteous people. You know, he's against what's right. He's against the Christian. That's why we get persecutions coming now for the saints. Did you see that? See, all those people now standing up for evil. Not like a long time ago. You know, in the 60s and 50s. See, it started turning around in the 40s and the 50s, you know, and stuff like that. In the late 50s, especially in the 60s, people start falling away from the truth. Just like now, the great falling away. See, like all those churches, they close all these churches. See, people, are, you know, a lot of them churches close and they're falling away quickly. Because, you know, with the churches closed, they're going to fall away even quicker. See, that's the great falling away now. Got to close all those churches because of the coronavirus. See, can't get up together no more. See, like they used to. A lot of the church had a little truth in them, but now it's that the great falling away and people got to fall away from God completely now. See, that's why they're all marching down in the street. That's all I'm showing you. See, now it's a great falling away. See? And they can't even go to church at all. Can't even uh, pray in the church no more. See? Can't even get up together no more. See? That's why I say, uh, Hitler said the uh, church must go. When he said, well, it was way back then, Hitler time. Back then. See? The beast system don't want God. And, in your life, you know. That's why Satan will be making war with the saints. But thank y'all and may God bless y'all and give y'all wisdom and knowledge and understanding of his word.